the fifth station. Jesus is helped by the Cyrenian to carry the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Who was Simon? What is known of him, except that he was of Cyrene? And what do most men know of Cyrene, other than it was the land of Simon? Both the city and the man emerged from obscurity and entered into glory, the most exalted glory, sacred glory. At a time when the thoughts of the Cyrenian were far from all this, he was walking carelessly along the road. He was thinking only about those petty problems and petty interests that make up the trivial lives of the majority of men. But thou, Lord, didst cross his path with thy wounds, thy cross, thy immense sorrow. Simon had to take a position in regard to thee. The soldiers forced him to carry the cross with thee. He could carry it with bad humor, indifferent to thee, trying to please the people by means of some new way of increasing the torments thou didst suffer in soul and body. Or he could carry it with love, with compassion, scorning the mob, trying to relieve thy suffering, taking some of it on himself, so that thou wouldst suffer a little less. The Cyrenian preferred to suffer with thee. For this reason, his name has been repeated with love, with gratitude, with holy envy, for two thousand years by all men of faith all over the face of the earth. And so it will continue until the end of time. Thou hast passed also along my path, my Jesus. Thou didst pass when thou called me out of the darkness of paganism and into the bosom of thy church through holy baptism. Thou didst pass also when my parents taught me to pray. Thou didst pass again when, in the catechism class, I began to open my soul to the true doctrine, Catholic and Orthodox. Thou didst pass in my first confession, in my first communion, in all of the moments when I vacillated, and thou didst help me in all of the moments when I fell, and thou didst pick me up, in all of the moments when I asked, and thou didst hear me. And I, Lord, even now thou passest by me in this exercise of the way of the cross, and what do I do when thou passest by me? Our Father, Hail Mary, Glory be to the Father. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.